how the housing bubble will burst in Canada. Hey everybody, Jeff Weibel here, and I think it's time that we address the possibility of the next real estate crash. Throughout history, there's always been a boom and bust cycle of the real estate market, and at some point in the future, we will see another real estate crash. At the beginning of the pandemic last year, house prices remained pretty stable, but now this year, they've gone to the moon. Uh, prices keep going up and up and up. At the same time that these houses are going up and up and up, household income isn't. I have over 100 rental units, and as for rent collection, we're at 99% collection. So rent's been pretty normal, except for you know in the big Canadian cities like Toronto, we did see rent go down slightly during the early stages of the pandemic. But it's not like many Canadians are getting larger salaries these days. The connection between what people earn and what prices the homes are these days could be an indicator of a bubble. What I'm seeing in my city is that people with already equity in the GTA are coming to smaller Canadian cities like my own and they're buying bigger homes, bigger mansions, and they get bigger bang for their buck. But if this isn't the case, if it's not the equity coming, and you're seeing a lot of people qualify for homes that they shouldn't qualify for, then like all bubbles, the housing bubble could one day pop. Normally what we see from the government is that another mortgage rule shows up and the government tries to like cool off the housing market. You know, as a savvy investor or even as a home buyer, you need to know the rules in the game in order to win. So regardless, you know, this summer, what policies come out, we're just going to have to, what we always say, adapt and overcome. If you're a real estate investor, here's what you should know and what could be a driving factor of the housing bubble. And at the start of 2020, Canadian buyers eagerly wanted to get into the market, but there was one problem. Nobody had their house for sale. Uh, last year would have been perfect for all these first time home buyers getting in, but sellers weren't willing to sell. Remember when the government suspended the mortgage payments and they even lowered the interest rates so that mortgages could become super affordable? Okay, so now the pandemic is more under control and real estate agents out there were all saying that everything's crazy and maybe you're blaming real estate agents for driving up, being great marketers and driving the market up. Uh, but everyone right now has this pent up demand and with capital being so cheap, that's causing the market to shoot up. Is that creating a clear housing bubble? Is this the movie The Big Short being played right out in front of our eyes? Are we in a similar position that the USA was in in 2008? Uh, will this bubble actually pop? And it all comes down to one thing, interest rates. If mortgages are now too pricey for Canadians, then buyers will not be able to buy and the bubble may burst. But remember, the government wants to keep interest rates at rock bottom. The Bank of Canada has said that interest rates should, should remain at current levels until 2023. But if capital continues to be cheap, will that inflate the bubble even more throughout the next several years? Inflation rates need to stay low. If they pick up, the Bank of Canada needs to raise the rates. If that happens, this could potentially pop the housing bubble. So to protect yourself, you know, you're a new home buyer, you may really, really, really want that rising inflation and the falling of house prices so that you can get into the market. But this would be horrible for the Canadian economy. Real estate is a huge component of it and a big driving factor. If you're trying to get into the market, one of the things you could do right now, guys, just rent. And if you just need to purchase real estate, look to invest in smaller Canadian cities. If you're buying a lot of real estate, you want to make sure that the property's cash flow. Cash flow will save you during a bubble, okay? Historically, rent has not gone down. Even you know if these assets cut in half and interest rates go up, rent pretty much stays the same, okay? And historically, variable interest rates for mortgages have been the way to go, but if you need security, you may wanna lock in and get yourself a fixed interest rate. So what do you think? Is Canada undoubtedly experiencing a housing bubble? The moment the house prices reach the top of ever, it's common that we're gonna ask that question. So I'd love to hear from you guys down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if Jeff, are you crazy wearing a tinfoil hat? Nothing is ever gonna pop in this country or it's going to happen tomorrow or by the time you guys hit the like button on this video, this, you know, bubble will pop. Um, and, you know, if you're not into real estate whatsoever, I'm not sure why you're here. But if you do want to use your Canada recovery benefit money, 
You can use it in the stock market. You can get $10 for free when you use the Wealth Simple link below and deposit $100. It's a $0 commission trading app. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, I do post there every single day. So if you wanna get over there and send me a DM, I will respond and uh, we will see you guys on my next video. Bye.